Richie Blackmore, deep purple guitarist. If you know the old uh, rock band, you'll know who it is. I'm flicking through YouTube again earlier and I come across Richie Blackmore with a released video, a new video only out today. It's an interview kind of video. It's him sat there in his little bar at his home there and he's being interviewed by Candice Knight. That's his wife. I don't know why she's not called what he's called, but her name's Candice White for purposes of putting this video out there. That's what she goes by. She's in Blackmore's Night with him. Do you get it? Blackmore, Richie Blackmore, Candice Knight, Knight, Blackmore's Night. Do you get it? Anyway, she's interviewing him. She said, I've been trying to get him for years and years to do a book. He's got so many anecdotes through the music, uh, time of the music. He's got so much to say and he just won't do one. So I thought, I'm going to try a different tact. I'm going to discuss things with him, ask him questions in the bar here and he's going to regale tales of his time in music. And I thought, this'll be fun. I was right. It wasn't. Or not particularly, anyway. He's not got much to say. as old Richie. But the reason I, I, I mentioned it is it was just weird. Really, really weird. It's like an eight or nine minute video. It's cut time and again. You see him moving like that. God knows how many times they've cut it. And the lighting's really, really weird. And when I say weird, I've not got the greatest TV in the world, although it's not that bad. And I'm thinking, I can barely see his face. I think because he's aged as much as... Well, he's old, he's not aged, he's old. I think his vein is not wanting folks to see the old boat race properly. Oh, that's, I might be wrong, but that's what I'm guessing. You can barely see him, man. And I'm thinking, what's going on here? Why are you hiding behind him? And that's what I think all the cutting is about. I think he doesn't want to be uh, seen to be looking older than he actually... Well, as old as he actually is, should I say. He told a couple of stories about Clapton. They weren't that bad, I suppose, but they weren't that good. And I thought, well, based on the stories about Clapton, I wouldn't have bought the book anyway. Great guitarist though you are, Richie, and there's no hiding that. Fantastic, fantastic guitarist. No, I wouldn't have bought that book. I don't think he's the nicest person in the world, folks, to be honest with you. There's some really great people in music and there's some not so good. I think Richie could be classed as the latter, really, but maybe I'm wrong there, maybe I'm wrong. It's just an opinion I get. Um, but it wasn't the best interview in the world. If you get a chance, go and watch it, folks. Let me know what you think. But Blackmore, did I like him as a guitarist? Oh, 100%. Purple, did I like him? Oh, fantastic. Especially Mark II. Mentioned an old song there called Emeretta. I've not heard it for 30, 40 years. I could sing it now word for word. I know it that well, and it's one you never hear. I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to. Good grief. I want you to come back to me. I don't want to lose you for good. But yeah... Where did he mention that song? I thought, good grief. That's one from The Vault. Ooh, deep in The Vault as well. He's mined that one out to get it out. He must have dug deep to get that one out. Emeretta. I better turn off because I'm going to start singing it and you don't want that.